welcome. We want to get underway. Please do come in and find a seat, and we will uh, begin our briefing. My name is Phil Bond. I am a board member of the Tech America Foundation, and my purpose here today is to welcome each of our guests from the press and from government and from the companies and others who have been part of this effort, and also to welcome, uh, at least give a word of welcome, to our satellite uh, simulcast going on today in Richardson, Texas, at VC offices there, and at the offices of Brocade in San Jose, California. Uh, I want to thank the local commissioners on site in both of those other locations as well for participating and for our friends from the press who have turned out at those locations. The simulcast reflects uh, not only the great innovation centers in Texas and uh, Silicon Valley that we're plugging into today, but also the reach of this particular commission effort through the Tech America Foundation as we reached out to, to executives and thought leaders around the country. So how did we get to this uh, announcement and release today? I want to start with a word of thanks to the federal CIO, Vivek Kundra, and also to Secretary Gary Lockett, the Commerce Secretary, and Undersecretary Pat Gallagher. It was those leaders in government who encouraged us by saying they wanted ideas from the private sector about how to maintain and enhance U.S. leadership in this exciting new uh, opportunity of the cloud. And so responding to those uh, leadership requests and leadership interest from those government leaders, we then put out the call that resulted in, uh, in this announcement today. We responded uh, in a way you'll hear some details about in the briefing today, but let me just share a couple of data points. More than 3,000 man hours that went into the various reports here, and very often those were woman hours. I would acknowledge, too, in terms of some of our leadership. Uh, in other words, about 20 months if we had dedicated a single executive to this uh, multifaceted effort. And so today, on behalf of the Tech America Foundation, I'm thrilled to announce that we are releasing Cloud First, Cloud Fast, recommendations for innovation, leadership, and job creation. While this is a, uh, a uh, early draft that we're releasing today. You can find all of the details on our website, techamericafoundation.org backslash cloud2. Now, I want to point out that cloud2 is actually cloud squared because our very clever name was the Commission on Leadership, the Leadership Opportunity of U.S. Deployment of the Cloud or Cloud Squared. Uh, we will have a final post-production copy available in about 10 days, and we'll be able to share that with our friends in the press as well, although we have summarized all the findings and uh, the full text available on the web. I referenced a multifaceted effort. We also produced a Cloud Buyer's Guide, and you will find that at cloudbuyersguide.org, uh, full of recommendations. Again, you'll receive a briefing on that today. And I will just note in passing, we'll be back to our friends in the press with some more news in a couple of weeks as we now turn our attention and, and looking at state and local government through the prism of the cloud and through the prism of these recommendations. You'll be hearing more from us on that. Now it's uh, my job to give you a brief introduction of our leadership that is with us here today to brief you on uh, the report and the Cloud Buyer's Guide. Uh, starting on my left, your right, uh, John Mallory from uh, MIT, where he is a research scientist in the MIT Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab. We have uh, Mike Nelson uh, from Georgetown, visiting professor in Internet Studies there in the Communications, Culture, and Technology Program. Dan Reed, Corporate Vice President with Microsoft in the Technology Policy Group. Jim Schaefer, President of CSC North America Public Sector Programs. And unable to be with us today, Mark Benioff, Chairman, CEO, and Founder of Salesforce.com. And then leading uh, the discussion here today, our other co-chair of the overall effort, uh, Chairman and CEO of VCE uh, Corporation, Michael Capellas. And Michael, I turn it over to you with thanks. <laughs> 